So, a subject which is rarely covered is uh, TV hierarchy. What is the difference between a producer and a production manager and a production coordinator? What do all these people do and how do they sort of work? Something that I didn't get right away was the fact that television is mostly made up of freelancers. What freelancing means is effectively that you are on a temporary contract, which isn't a bad thing at all because it means that you actually get to be selective about the contracts that you work on. So to some people it sounds a little bit unstable. It's not the case. The more that you work for different independent production companies, the bigger your network grows. So you're gonna become much more stable, much more steady as time goes on. It's just that early stage of having to get all the contacts together. It becomes a little bit daunting. So as I've said throughout my previous videos is that you are going to start out as a runner. Now there's nothing wrong with this at all because it means that you get to look across uh, what everyone else is doing and try and work out what you want to sort of get more experience in. There are literally dozens of roles. I tend to think of it as a filter system. So if you start at the bottom, you choose the, I suppose, the shoot that you want to go up, like a, some sort of mental gerbil, and you just, you choose where you want to go, but it gets more tricky. The higher up you go one shoot, it becomes very difficult to get over to the other side. So if you are interested in going down the edit side of things and you start off as a runner, then you go to edit assistant, and then you become an editor. Now, I haven't really spent too much time in post houses, uh, so I don't really have an awful lot of knowledge about this area. But as far as I'm aware, if you were to be an editor for, let's say, a couple of years, then you have the option to become an edit producer who's much more in control of the story. On the other side, you might want to be a production manager. These people are very much in control of the money and the logistics. If you wanted to be a production manager, if you think you're good at uh, sch scheduling stuff and just looking after uh, money, then the best thing to do is to start off obviously again as a runner you then would become a production secretary a production coordinator a production manager a unit manager and then the final thing is the production executive not every company has a production executive I certainly know that the bigger indies do and they tend to be across multiple productions rather than just one or you might want to do what I'm doing and go down the producer route so again you start out as a runner the next uh, step up for you would be researcher then it would be assistant producer, and then producer, then senior producer, then series producer, then executive producer. Another thing that you potentially might be interested in is the sort of specialised, the more skillful uh, side. Um, usually it comes under shooting. For example, if you wanted to go down the DOP route, you would start out as a runner. You would then get a job as a camera assistant, you then become a camera operator, and then you become a director of photography. So you could be a director of photography and then move on to become a director because you already know how to light stuff and make things look really sexy. I appreciate that I haven't gone through all of them but it gives you some idea about why it's so important to be a runner for as long as you can because you have the option to choose which of these funnels you go up. Just so you know those um, those top end positions when I was talking about obviously becoming an executive producer tend to take over 10 years. The most important thing is to be patient and just enjoy yourself as I keep saying. Um, but that is pretty much it. If you have any questions or you want to get in touch I am on on Twitter so make sure that you tweet me at Livermore. So that's all for now and I will talk to you later. Bye!